arguments. This will be in the ELA section of the SHSAT, and what they mean by argument is not necessarily a fight, but what is the author making a case for? Um, and they're going to ask you to support the argument of what the author is saying. So they might ask you to support the argument of a sentence. And looking at the sentence over here, the men and women that make up NASA's shuttle teams are famously brave. What argument is that making? Well, it's pretty straightforward. The people that make up NASA's shuttle teams have to be courageous and are courageous, right? And so how do you support that argument? Maybe put a fact on how, uh, how scary it could be to ride the shuttle. Like, you know, you could put a fact about how often mission systems fail and how dangerous it is to be caught in space when something goes wrong. Or you could have a personal anecdote about an astronaut doing something incredibly brave. Any of those things would support this sentence. Arguments also come in a paragraph. So it's backing out, looking at the paragraph around this sentence, it's a paragraph about how awesome astronauts are, not just their bravery, but their intellectual c capacity and their endurance. So it's making a little bit more of a general argument, but it's very specific in the label that the argument is astronauts are awesome. So how do you support that? You could talk about how great of people astronauts are or how rigorous the tests are to become an astronaut, to make sure that they're really great people. Any of those things would support this paragraph. And backing out further, we can look to see what the argument of the whole passage is. And the whole argument of the passage is that the space program in the United States of America is is amazing and top flight, incredible, and filled with talented and amazing people and just so awesome, right? And so that's the argument of the entire passage. And they're gonna ask you to, to pick sentences that support that argument, okay? So it's very important to notice if they're trying to get you to support the argument in the sentence, the paragraph, or the passage that's important. Because as you can see, even though this is from the same passage, they have slightly different things that they're arguing. Although this is the main thing and these are just different points of it. Common wrong answer types you're going to see are opinions. So if they ask you to support the argument of the entire passage, a trap answer would be NASA should receive more funding. You know, that would be a sentence you could add. And yeah, that, that sure, I mean, that would be great if NASA got more funding. However, they don't really talk about funding in this passage over here. So it's more of your opinion that NASA sh should get more funding. Maybe they're already super efficient and you know have an extra surplus of budget. It's not true, but I mean maybe th that's just our opinion as far as should they get more money or not. Uh, it has nothing to do with anything that they mentioned in the passage. Elaborating an un unimportant detail. So that's like saying you know what sentence could you add on to the end of this whole passage to conclude the argument, and you would say the CMOS sensor is very very great. It's like, yeah, that, that is part of the third paragraph's argument. However, that's <laughs> just the smallest detail you could have possibly find. Technically true, but doesn't support the argument. Straying from the argument, uh, this is like, when they, for example, the backing up the argument in the sentence, the astronauts, the men and women that make up NASA shuttle's teams are famously brave in the second paragraph. That uh, that could be like a, a straying from argument answer choice if they had, you know, not only are astronauts brave, but military officers are extremely brave as well, almost just as brave as astronauts. It's like, oh, okay, I mean, we're not really talking about the military in that sentence. And to bring it up just to say that they're also brave is just kind of straying from the argument that we're really talking about uh, men and women that make up the shuttle teams. And then introducing similar but not the same arguments. That's the type of thing where uh, if, if it was the argument of the whole passage that NASA is great, you could then, if they said, oh, what conclusion sentence could you tap on to the end of this passage that would support the argument of the passage, this type of trap answer would say, and the NASA, the NASA's accomplishments and achievements mirror America's achievements, and America is the greatest country in the world. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but honestly, it's really not talking about America. It's very specific about talking about how NASA is really great and something we should be proud of. And even though it's very similar to say that America is super great and we should be proud of it, um, at the same time, it's like, well, that's not specifically what the author is arguing. That's 
something beyond that. That's a separate argument. So I'm going to drop a, uh, a practice for you guys to do to, to, to see how you are supporting it. And I, I, like, I just whipped it together really fast. So if it sucks or if there's typos in it, you know what? It's going to be okay. Just, just kind of keep cruising. And so here it is. Here's a practice sheet you can work on. Pause the video and do this so you don't have to listen to my talking while you're working. And at the 545 mark, I'm going to drop the answers so you can skip there now or just wait five more seconds. Um, good luck on this, bros. I hope you have a super fun time doing it. Here are the answers. <laughs> 